Hey guys, happy homebrew Wednesday. I'm trying something new this week. Uh, since the uh, recent heat wave is finally broken, I've decided to try to film this outside uh, my backyard on my uh, old but favorite bench. And I don't know how that's going to go. My uh, next door neighbor has uh, some very uh, annoying dogs. Uh, as soon as she puts them outside, they start barking and they keep barking until they uh, they, they take them in. So. You know, we'll play this one by ear here. First thing that I have is a nice, cold and refreshing homebrew. Uh, this is the last of the Mexican uh, cerveza that I made. Oh, it's cold and refreshing. Perfect on a day like today. Um, I got notes just so I don't forget anything. I'm not really brewing anything now. Um, <clears throat> it's really too hot uh, to do beers or you know especially lagers and I don't want to you know play around with the big bucket and having to swap out ice all the time so my uh, brews uh, these days are well until the weather gets colder anyway is pretty much um, limited to uh, wine uh, ciders <clears throat> and uh, cider is uh, today's uh, topic. A subscriber of mine, uh, his name is, and forgive, forgive me if I get this wrong, Anthony Shively. So, Anthony, I'll put his name down in the, uh, the comments. After my uh, homebrew video last week, Anthony uh, um, sent me a comment. And uh, in the comment, he stated that he tried making apple cider before, and it didn't turn out that great. And he was wondering if he should let it age. He wanted uh, he wanted me to uh, let him know how I make it. <clears throat> and I mean, it's a simple enough question: How do you make hard cider? Uh, the answer, however, may not be so simple. Uh, in fact, I make three different types of hard cider. From uh, let's see. From a uh, difficulty standpoint, down to the very simplest and easiest form. Once a year, I go to a not so local uh, farm with an apple orchard. I buy a couple of uh, baskets of apples. I bring them home. Oh, excuse me. I bring them home. I skin them. I core them. I chop them up in little pieces, and then I run them through a juicer. check the, uh, um, the alcohol potential with a hydrometer, I pitch my yeast, I brew it like beer, I bottle it like beer and I let it sit and age. <clears throat> um, oh, one more thing, before I bottle it, I add two ounces of uh, artificial uh, apple flavoring that I get from my local um, homebrew supply store. I bottle it, I, uh, I let it carbonate naturally, and every Halloween weekend, since Halloween is my one of my favorite holidays, I start a campfire out in the backyard. I invite some friends over, and then we sit around smoking, joking, and uh, drinking the whole evening. So that's the first type that I make. The second kind I make is 17% uh, ABV. Um, it's basically half the strongest vodka, and I keep a gallon of that around the house, and when the boys come over for poker night, then uh, that's what we do shots of. Um, it's cheap, but you know, when it comes to booze, my friends are vultures. Um, the, uh, the third type of apple cider that I make, and that was the, uh, the kind of cider that I was drinking on last week's video, is simply just uh, store-bought juice with uh, enough uh, sugar in it to raise the alcohol potential up to uh, 6%. And then I make it with uh, an English ale yeast. And that brings me to the, uh, the second topic. Uh, you have to use the right kind of yeast for the type of cider that you're going to make. Now the cider that I make that's 17%, uh, I usually use Lavalin's brand EC1118 Champagne yeast. And uh, I've always had wonderful results. A, a substitute is Lavalin's brand KIV 1116. 
on that. It's not a champagne yeast, it's a wine yeast. But the, the reason that's a good substitute is it's a wine yeast that is designed for um, fruit wines and uh, red wines. And it tends to express the natural uh, fruit flavors of the wine uh, more so than the, the EC1118. So either one of those yeasts are, are fine for the, uh, the higher alcohol uh, ones. Um, and I suggest you try them both. Um, <clears throat> now, if you're making a low alcohol apple cider or you plan on bottling it uh, like you do your beer, well, you have to use some type of uh, distiller's yeast, uh, an ale yeast. And the type of yeast that you really should use <clears throat> is an English style. Uh, Safe Ales SO4, for example. One of my favorites is a Nottingham uh, yeast. Uh, Lalamad, Lalamad makes it, I think. Um, another one you have is a, a Windsor yeast. Uh, what you don't want to do is use an American style yeast, like, say, Safe Ales SO5, or if you like uh, liquid yeasts, uh, Y yeast 1056, American ale yeast. Now, the reason for that is American yeasts tend to attenuate to a, a lower specific gravity, um, uh, finishing gravity. And the reason they do that is because American style beers, uh, they, they like them to be slightly dry with a nice crisp, uh, crisp finish. Now, as far as I know, and I might be wrong, uh, European yeasts, uh, the English varieties, uh, they, don't, they don't finish at quite such a, a low gravity. So there's a little bit of residual sugar and proteins in there, so you get the the, the, the hearty mouth feels and the uh, you know the thick frothy heads that just will never go away. And the, that's important because if you pick the wrong type of yeast and it doesn't leave enough sugar behind, what you end up with is something that's bitter. And it'll happen whether you're using the cheap store-bought uh, brands or, you know, you go pick your own apples from the orchard. There has to be some kind of sugar left over or you have to uh, back-sweeten it. And if you back-sweeten it, well, then you, you have to make a, uh, like a, a wine-like product. Um, because if you don't kill off the yeast and you add sugar to it, it's going to start fermenting again and it'll ferment right back down to where it was. It'll still be bitter, but this time it'll just be a little more alcohol. Oh, I really do like this. <clears throat> okay, um, I do have the ingredients. I just stopped at the, uh, the local uh, grocery store today. I bought the ingredients to make um, my standard standard um, apple cider, the, uh, the same kind you guys saw me drinking last week in my videos, and I was meaning to uh, post that already. I apologize for it. I just really haven't had a lot of time. Uh, for instance, I usually do these videos or on a Monday or a Tuesday, and they're already uploaded. And then when Wednesday morning rolls around, I just, you know, click them from private to public, and there you go. But I'm actually making this Wednesday afternoon. So if you guys are checking out my channel, you're probably not going to see it until Wednesday evening. Maybe Thursday morning, and I apologize for it. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> well. Yeah. That's all I have uh, in my notes for you guys this week. Okay, thanks for watching my videos. If you subscribe, thank you. If you like my videos, thumbs up. And as always, guys, I hope your week this far has been good. I hope the rest of your week is even better. Take care, guys. Cheers. 17.